Get a quill. Wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin her mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. <laughs> arrested? For what? Our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? <sighs> Details. <sighs> nice Gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah! Holy holla, rocket! Stop this ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you can be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. <laughs> Mora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. Ah. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing. Feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Rocket, Groot, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Novacore security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. At 
We wait for the next reset. We'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. Well, it appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor coats are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero four five one. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to... There. wasn't very popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacore had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Ronan. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overall. Plus, there's good money in it. The piece that we seek is far more valuable to the Monster Queen of Seknoth 9 than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, the place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster. That big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. <laughs> friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Root, Quill, Soda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clicks at the drop side. The ground's too unstable to land the ship, so you'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Child. Oh. oh, can you imagine? Uh, okay. Oh. You okay, Quill? Yeah, I think so. This, uh, I think resin stuff's definitely strong enough to hold this place together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, probably strong enough. Everybody keep an eye out for any good scrap or components. I am... I'm Groot. He is not a better shot than me. So off. Uh, Just making sure my guns work. I am Groot. Don't worry. It's safe to walk on. Mostly. That's why Green Team's on the Milano. Heck of a lot more dangerous to fly around in here. I heard that. I'm thinking that big cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that spanned the entire galaxy held together by... pink goo. Ebrium-based nano-resin. Whatever. I'm just saying, it's a lot to take in. Oh, look! Yellow and blue! Looks like an old Novacore freak. Nice! 
Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so... Don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster sh- Whoa! Okay. I'm okay! Ha! You almost made yourself a very late war casualty. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us, hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you-know-who joined us. I am Groot. I do not hate everybody. <laughs> the three of us have had some good times. Remember the gig on Draconius? <sighs> <laughs> the locals did not appreciate us hauling them onto our ship. Lark and shapeshifters, man. Never again. Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Pass this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group. You think we could find pieces of the Trion shard in here? You never heard of the Trion shard? A pyramid of pure evil that corrupts everything it comes in contact with. Making things up. Name one time I ever made something up. How do you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. Yeah, I'm sure it's safe-ish. Safer than flying with Kimura anyway. I heard that. says I can clear more of these suckers than you. As if. Whoa, what the? Rocket, did you do that? The scoreboard? You like it? Hacked it into your visor cover last time you took a snooze. You hacked into my stuff? Considering how many times I fixed the flarkin thing, it might as well be my stuff. Optimal thumper placing distance should be just up ahead. <laughs> I'm thinking right in front, through the giant hole where this ship's cockpit used to be. Well, that's grim. Uh, yeah, try not to think about it. It's better not to ah! Ah! Amazing! I should have been recording. Bridge over. I want to see if he's alive. I don't know, but he's twitching. Flarkin, Scott Stain, Quill. You okay down there? Yep. Yeah, just, uh... I thought I saw a shortcut. shortcut. Right. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up. Okay. There's a crapped out Novacore missile bay just on the other side. We'll meet you there. Yellow and blue missile bay. Got it.
okay over there? Quill nearly got himself eaten by a blob or something. Should have heard him squeal. You must fight with dignity, Peter Quill. Or at least die with it. Not funny. Got a lot riding on your gal pal's mystery monster tip. I hope she's legit. Like you could even tell if she had an honest face. Trust in the plan, guys. Everything is checked out so far, right down to the mining ship. We put our thumpers in the right places, and we'll bag that monster. Uh, Quill knows all about putting thumpers in the right places. <laughs> and getting monsters in the sack, too. <laughs> Mother of Scott! Are you kidding me? Son of a smack! That was too close! You okay, Groot? Well, we're fine, but we can't jump that. You don't gotta jump. There's a sturdy support beam on this side. Get Groot to grow a bridge across. Just ask him nice like. He does it for all me right, all Groot. the time. Let's see that cool vine. Oh, yeah. oh. One hell of a party trick, big guy. Gross! More ship eaters. Ah, oh, they're everywhere. All right, back to business. Boom! Right under your nose, Quill. Ah, oh, I can't stand these things chewing up all this beautiful salvage. Groot, I found a hitch. Can you latch onto it? Hey, Greenies. You see any blue and gold ships out there, you let us know. We have seen many such ships. He means active ones. We haven't talked about what to do if we run into a Nova Corps patrol. Uh, we will restrain them until we are done here. Any sign of cops, we surrender, okay? We do not surrender. I'm with Drax on this one. We all have criminal records, and they'll be... Okay. Here we go. All right, set her down right there. Yep, one to go. Flark! No, no! Flark and Skaggy! Good attack and batteries fried, that's what's wrong. Maybe you put it down too hard. Let's just find a solution. The solution's a new battery, with a charge. Okay. Found something with a charge! Kinda looks like a spacey car battery. Okay, this thing isn't gonna zap me, right? The chance is minuscule, at best. You'll be fine. Here you go. That'll do nicely. Just let me tinker a bit. I'll have to do some tweaking once I see how much juice this thing puts out. So uh, watch my back. Watch it from what? Rocket! Help me scramble some critters! No, no, no stop! I don't rewire you! Just in time. I'd like to see you fix it next time. Come on, two down, two to go. Uh, of 
course it's the worst space ration flavor. This one tastes like dollar store cat food. Makes your teeth oily. I don't see any way out of the missile bay except that passage, bud. Groot's wondering if the reward's gonna be worth all the risk we're taking for this job. Me and Groot are nearly unkillable, but what if the rest of you don't make it out alive? Guys, this job is a huge deal. It's for the freaking monster queen of Seknarf 9. She just doesn't know it yet. We pull this off, and we're... Lady Hellbender's intergalactic monster anglers? I do prefer that name, but the acronym is unwieldy. No. We're still the Guardians of the Galaxy, but people will know that name means quality. Man, that thing is ridiculous. I think it was a ship or a robot. That's a pre-century. A robot, but it would have been space worth. <laughs> that ain't even the biggest one. Impressive, but I could fly circles around something that big. Give me a fast and sexy M-Class scout over those things any day. I do appreciate that sweet Ravager pirate tech. She's made for hidden runs. <laughs> and boy, can she run. She can hit too. There's always room for more firepower, Quill. That sentry probably took on whole fleets. This old Kree tech gets me wondering, where would I be now if those blue butt scuts managed to keep me locked into their half-world experiments? <laughs> yeah, chances are you'd be climbing over bits of me right now. I wasn't even a person to the worst of the Kree's mad scientists. More like a real smart walking gun. A very talkative gun. <laughs> yeah, that part was an accident. They tried to fix it a few times. The entire facility was the problem. Wait, is that... Yes! I'm about to win this bet, Quill! Here goes nothing. <laughs> We're inside a giant robot head. And I got robot parts inside my head. You have robot parts inside your head. Inside a giant robot head! Rocket scores! Hey, bro, what do you think I should do when I win this bet? I mean with the units he'll owe me once I win. <laughs> well, I know what I'll be doing with my winnings. I'm saving up for our next stop on Contraxia to get one of those Zeronian massages. Ugh, you're so predictable. Wonder how many big bot carcasses we'd find looking around the entire zone. If it's a sentry you're looking at, we've seen at least three so far. Or at least three pieces. Let's see. When I beat Quill, I'm gonna get my hands on some rotating hypersurfaces. Found it? Don't congratulate him! What do you think, Drax? Shall we get in on this bet? Think of all the hyper circuits you can buy. Are you making fun of me? I do not wish to acquire hyper circuits. <laughs> no, we can't take the giant robot home. And believe me, that's a painful sentence for me to say. You know what, Quill? I think it's unfair. You got two guns, I got one. I think my points should count double from now on. That's cheating. All right, Thumper goes there. It's not gonna piss off every critter around, right? Sorry, Quill. Not taking no chances after the last one. I gotta test it real quick. Not again. Rocket! I only flip the switch on and off. It's gotta love that kill radius. Like popping a six! Turn it! I thought we were 
for sake! Oh, come on! Now we gotta deal with junk slugs? Don't gawk at it! Shoot it! Very helpful, thanks! You're welcome! Now stop distracting me! Not a chance! I've gotten way more! Look out! Play some time, crew! <laughs> At least they make a good splat! Uh, amateur! <laughs> Easy for you to say! You've got a pointy stick! Rocket! Go wild! How are there this many of them? About to be one less! Let's see those branches! I knew I was missing all the fun last time! Hey, a nice work for later, Quill! What would I do without you, Rocket? Do we really need to test these things? Testing is the most enjoyable! Quill, watch it! I know, right? What was that worth? Five points? Oh, come on! You can't just give yourself points like that! It looks like we're done installing our thumper. Great job. We'll meet you at the mining ship. All right. Mining rig is right there. Of course it's secure. As secure as a broke-down Shatari shipwreck's ever gonna be. Come on, Groot. We need to get across here. A rocket wouldn't put you at risk, right? That's right! I've always got your back, bud. Nah, it just looks unstable like everything else in here. Don't get your twigs in a bundle. Yes! The resin can hold a stupid warship! <laughs> I'm telling you, it's totally safe. See? I'll even prove it. Huh? Look at this. Rocket? Oh, fuck. Guys, jump! Oh, oh, no, no, oh, ah! Some moldy driftwood, 
You could have died saving me! I love you too, you selfless son of a drug. Come on, Kuro. He says I'll meet us at the mineage. I don't want to make him wait. That's it? You're not going after him? He says it's fine. We'll meet him later. Team Rocket, is everything okay? Groot's signal just went dark. His radio must have broke when he fell. Uh, Groot just took a different path. He must have fell and broke his radio. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why take a different path? Team Rocket, over. <laughs> Hope that got rid of him. Uh, sounds like Green Team's off our backs. Now we can stop worrying about that uh, dumb accident. Groot's fine anyways. There's nothing to worry about. An accident, Rocket? Come on! What? That's all it was. It's your fault! If you hadn't fooled around on that ship... I did it. You don't know nothing. Stop trying to be smart. That sure didn't sound like an apology. Nope. How do you make a dead Shatari float? Man! If that afterburner kicked on right now, we'd be toast. Let's hope it don't, because we have to find a way through this thing. Mining ships on the other side of that turbine, so we gotta find a way through. Try not to jump on anything this time. Groot's not there to grab you if you... Well... There's a drone access tunnel over here. <sighs> Can you squeeze in there? Knew it. Rocket, fix the thing. Rocket, clean up the mess. Rocket, crawl into the mystery hole. See anything? Yeah, a manual override. Team Rocket, we hit a snag. One of our thumper points was covered in resin, so we're gonna fly around to scout another spot. Just make sure the new spot as close as possible to the original one. Because of maps and angles. Great, another turbine. Yeah, that is how these things are usually built. And... Someone's been practicing. Come on, let's get out of here. We're back on track. The mining ship ain't too far. Think Groot's already ahead of us? Maybe. Hope he didn't get the strap. Grab, 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 grab! It wasn't me this time, I swear! I don't tear my pants! I'm gripping this thing with muscles I didn't even know I had! Oh, crap! Ah! Where is... Oh, Larkin, son of a... I told you I saw them. Great timing! How did you guys... Good to see you two, but you're gonna want to cross the ship as fast as you can. We're seeing a lot of movement. Yeah, Scott's getting real violent out here. Uh, just try to hold her still for us. That's not gonna be an option soon. This position is untenable. Tracks incoming! Watch out! <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> Have you perished, Peter Quill? <laughs> Too much debris! I'm taking her out of here! Supernova. Is it broken? Uh, overloaded, sounds like. Must be some kind of residual energy in here. Oh, come on! Clark and tensor joint, just neat. Uh, wiggle the. Okay, so life support's moving back up. What's it look like out there? Oh, mother of space one.
Quill, you okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just... Man. Swarm of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots. I don't know. Sorry about the shoot. Yeah, thought you were that freaky thing we accidentally released. Saw! We saw some cleaner bots. <laughs> accidentally. At a distance. <laughs> we're totally all right. They just ran away when it saw us. Right, Quill? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just a freaky floating creature. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and speaking of freaky creatures, want to bet green team's having trouble parking the ship? I think I'm done with uh, bets for today. Yeah, you and me both. Let's just get to the rendezvous point. Uh, nobody won. It was just an excuse to shoot stuff. Hang on a tick. Hey, Groot. How do you make a dead Shatari float? Take your foot off its head. There you go. Rendezvous coordinates are that way. But we'll have to find a way around the rubble. I'll try to find a side passage. Look at this old beauty. I am a table. This is a vintage Model T engineering workbench. They don't make them sturdy like that no more. Hey, come on, Quill. Let's see if this beauty still works. Maybe I can fix up your gear. Hey, hand me that part. On it, and finish. One tick, done. Hey, Quill, Groot says there might be something behind the big unit over here. Yeah, there's a way through, if we can clear out that front. Ah, that's one stubborn bunch of lore. Try that quick cooldown I installed, so you can keep helping us. Oh yeah! Nailed it! <laughs> and, uh, thanks for the upgrade. Alright, let's squeeze our way out of here. Oh, after you. Uh, no, you go first. I'll cover your back. Uh, seems a little wobbly. You guys hang back a sec. Ah! Well, Scott! Ah, this place is crawling with ugly! Guys, I'm not alone down here!
Man, Rocket, you really missed out. That was amazing. Team Rocket! Finally. We couldn't hear you before. Something about the mining ship's been messing up our comms. Yeah, something really ain't right in here. And Quill fell down another hole. Another one. I'm parking the Milano, but Drax is out there searching for you. Maybe you'll find Quill before we do. We're trying to catch up to him. Guys, we really need to get better at the buddy system. She is not my buddy. I will find you, Peter Quill. Describe your surroundings. Uh, old metal, old mining equipment, just old. Noted. Hello? Oh, another freaky thing! How freaky? Kill it! Read my mind! You really use it to save refuges to die! I can barely scratch it! Kill it harder! I'm killing it as hard as I can! Damn! These things really soak up damage! Quill yet? Found and saved. Hey. Go on ahead then. We'll catch up. Just making a uh, pit stop. I parked the Milano near the last thumper spot. We'll head that way and keep an eye out for you. How's my baby? You can see for yourself if we can get back up there. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It's a possibility. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. That is physically impossible. Drax, think you can heft that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior! Remember this moment should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slowly you moved. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, good for you. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We... Oh, flock. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was... rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. With a name like Hellbender, Gamora's probably right. It's gotta be something scary. Nightmarish. 
A proper apex predator. Snarling and nasty. More teeth than all of us combined. Fat like wing with razor tips. Chokes with poison or acid. Or acidic poison. I hope all these are true. I yearn for a worthy challenge. Hunting this thing kind of reminds me of this time when my hamster got loose and I chased her all over. Well, you got some time in. We got company. Is this from the last thumper? We haven't even placed it yet. This place is crawling with monsters. There are food for our glory. We'll not be far behind. Let's just focus on not becoming food ourselves. Say, it's fucking scary out there, Quill. Fuck darts on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Wise words, Quill. This with. is gonna be fun! Feel them! I am engorged with the thrum of battle. Didn't need to hear that. Come on, last thumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. Watch a genius at work. You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. Never been a problem for Quill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. Wait to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it uh doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sounds? You can't hear that! Hear what? Door, we 
works. Let's catch our monster. Hey, that thing's fast! Don't let it get behind you. It could be poisonous. That's one less thing to hide behind. Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid. That. Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! No place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruined tracks! Go! Hold on to your butts, people! Lock it! Hit the music! On it! Focus on flying, Peter! Someone play this man a song! That, now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You ain't! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Blue instructed. Watch it! Someone give me a hand! <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? to thread the needle. Don't even think about it! The quickest way through is through. Peter! You fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin. Don't you get goo on my ship. My ship. Oh, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost of Sarduf. Your hell is frozen. The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? He's so... Group says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! You want me to take the controls? No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Don't get us killed, Well, There's still so much stuff I want to steal! gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whoa! Fuck yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button! If we start on all sides, we ain't gonna make it! We'll make it! Maybe! There's the exit! See? Hold stretch! Go to last breath! Yeah! And that's what I call a win, people! How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten! Whatever you can fly away from... Means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it.
Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Designation, Hallis Hope. Uh, did you say Hallis Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. Right. Peter Quill found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech. More than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a Class Three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide Rocket's crate. Peter! You're willing to gamble on a... Space llama thingy? I'll convince Corel the llama's harmless. She knows me. And I know Corel. Not like I did. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. I am good. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Nova Corps licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer. Convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero? Often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... 
Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Time to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. Everyone just do what they say. When I see Corral, I'll explain... The captain isn't going to see you. According to protocol, you're to be taken straight to the brig. Yeah, plan's going real good, Quill. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power. No containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. they cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Breaker. Leader of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, you just tell the captain that oh, I... Mom explicitly I'm said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait, just to be no! super clear you on the mom... That. You, Nikki. <laughs> okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. Regulation 3B. Never undo restraints. Come on. You clearly need my help. No! You're my prisoner. And I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Are we sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge. Whoa! <laughs> you 
okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door down here. Help me step. Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay. I can do this. Not to rush you or anything. Almost there. Yes! Got it! Through here! Woo! <laughs> Nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or, you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Uh, start with the bad, I guess. Your friends have been processed and put in the brig. So, what's the good news? They're not dead. One of them actually seems really active. That's probably Rocket. Come on. We'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is... Easy, does it? to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. <laughs> Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just, it's... I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogram most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean, it's cool. I have a personality. Very cool. Come on. This way. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the... Okay. Wow. That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling into a dead end. Regulation 2B. Prisoners must stay close at all times. I'm still in charge here, you know. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy, and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could've fooled me. Any day now. Right, right. Just... Taking it all in. Get back here, pirate. Wow, wow, okay. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. Ugh, are you kidding me? If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow! Don't laugh. No, no! This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. We're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Is 
Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Is this... Krilar? Uh, yeah. Long time ago. Kit stuff. I could do it way better now. No, no, it's good. Morbid, but good. Hey, this is Mercury, right? Uh-huh. It's supposed to represent this big battle Mom was part of. You said you were there, right? Oh, yeah. Your mom was dead in the water until me and the Ravagers showed up. You should really fix this. You... want me to draw you in? In the interest of historical accuracy. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before Mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? You tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. You don't want her to know about your secret hideout. I get it. Uh, yes. And also everything else. Everything else, like... Like me having a passkey that overrides parts of the ship. The whole official trainee thing. Um, me being anywhere near the hangar bay. You know, just me in general. You never saw me. <sighs> Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. <sighs> Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-OK. -okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in an elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Someone, please get out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? 
she really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. I still have feelings for you. Excuse me? Not like feelings, feelings. More like emotions. You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. It was a lot of feelings to bubble up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, log down. Lockdown, disengage. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. Day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Murphy was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. On second thought, it's only fair if I ask Chewie. He is a grown Wookiee, definitely old enough to make his own decisions. Okay. Yeah, he says he's okay. So, uh, how are you doing? You okay? Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. And after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me th three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still... whatever it is you're gonna finish that sentence with. You're gonna pay 8,000 units in three cycles? Wow, okay, that is... a lot of money. I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a Class II biohazard wandering around your ship. That's yeah, all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five. Three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. 
You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Groot has the right to some privacy. Ah, now is not the time for pointless civility. <laughs> Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What? What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Just need to tell Nikki the truth. It's more than my dad did. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out and... Uh... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yondu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... you know. They hit just as many resistance ships, until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... 
Yondu ended up on Chitari Prime, with you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. I'm not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> Let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. Holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. We will seek to... Guys. I think we should... hear our group for once. I... am... He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. 
And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? In fact, you ain't sure. Don't bow so good. <laughs> ah. Ew! Ah! Out! Ah. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. At least we'll have time to think about our sales pitch. How are we to convince a beast collector to purchase a tree? We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. You must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your... That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice!
I support you, Peter Quill. The only man I support is getting out of this Larkin Ray. We need to keep moving forward, Quill. We need to not get hit by lightning. Can we please just do something? You ask too much of our leader. You know he cannot multitask. I can multitask. Should have gone to Mach 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. Ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little bit. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready.
around here looks like we are outside lady hellbender's sanctuary the creatures here are not her pets they sort of do look like food we're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here where the flark is she going there's a trail going through the jungle try to find a way up this husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain i ain't comfortable calling it a husk seeing as we're about to climb it and all it is the hollowed husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Peter, get moving! Drax is having an existential meltdown. 